basically the future of consensus is at the moment, from what we see, DAGs, directed to cyclic graphs, are the ones that can are super fast, can have billions of transactions per second with no scalability issues. They look like they're the future, but I think it's still too early to tell. I, th I reckon there's probably a new tech or form of consensus which hasn't been created yet. But I personally, for, with my very thin knowledge of actual tech stuff, I don't see how it could because a DAG fit, ticks all the boxes. Like, Hash graph in theory, or block lattice, can do billions of transactions per second with no scalability issues. So if you, a different way to look at scalability is that, think of pizza. Pizza time. So, in fact, a lot of ICOs go, hey, here's our coin, we can do a million transactions per second. And they con loads of people into buying their coin Go, oh my God, it can do a million transactions per second and Bitcoin can only do up to seven, but averages four. But the thing is, if, yeah, if there's only two people in the network, yeah, you could do a million transactions per second, but what if there's 100,000 people in the network? All of a sudden it clogs up. And the way I look at it is pizza. Let's say I have a big pizza and I come in and I want to share the pizza with one person, split it in half, have two nice big chunks of pizza. But if, what if the rest of you want to come in and have a chunk of my pizza? I'm a bit, bit pissed off now. I am f fuming! So I have to cut my pizza into loads of tiny slices and being British we have to form an orderly queue. <laughs> so it's going to take a while for the last person, Damien, to get his slice of pizza. It's going to be cold, it's going to be small and it's going to take you a long time to get pizza. So the more people that enter my crypto or want my pizza, the, it clogs everything up and it's slow. That's what Ethereum has problems with. That's what Bitcoin has problems with. The more people that use it, it just makes it slower and slower and slower. So what happens with a thing like a DAG is that it gets faster the more people that use it because part of the rules is that anyone that comes into the room, you can only come in unless, if you have your own big pizza yourself. So the more people that get into the room, the more pizza there is. And there's no clogging up and yeah, everyone gets a pizza at the same time. That's the easiest way I can put it. But I've got a theory. Oh, by the way, so in about three years time, Bitcoin will be using more energy than the whole country of Japan. Japan is the third biggest economy on the planet. So Earth, planet Earth, cannot sustain more than one globally scaled proof of work system. So this is why proof of work definitely isn't future but I think Bitcoin is going to be the only one that does survive with a proof of work system. And again, if I was head of the planet, head of the G20 or IMF or whatever, I would actually use Bitcoin and turn it into the world's best green revolution ever. Because what I would say is go, right, from now on, all Bitcoin mining is banned unless you use solar power. If you are caught mining with, without solar power, or renewable harvestable energy sources, thermal, wind, water, um, we're going to put you in prison. Make it egregious, like you're not going to be caught with mining, like mining illegally. Um, then what would that do? Like we've seen like Nvidia, you know, the graphics card machine, they have boomed, they've made so much profit, they've made more profit than anyone because everyone's looking to try and find the, buy these Nvidia graphics cards for their mining rigs. Um, if we made all Bitcoin mining via solar, it would spark the biggest solar push we've ever seen. Um, and it would be the biggest green driver ever. Uh, also, because of Elon and um, Rocket Labs in New Zealand, uh, it won't be long until like, you could put a massive mining rig in space for very little and have free mining forever. You could just put a, a mining rig in a geostationary orbit with the sun and as long as you've got an internet feed with your satellite, you've got Bitcoin. <laughs>